want to welcome back to the Shredder Knife Reviews. Today we are going to be reviewing the D-Bad Mission 4. That's right. Good job. Wait, nope, not that one. Here. So if you, let me show you. So if you, see, if you unlock both, it locks in place. If you just do the one, it comes out nice and smooth. Okay? I didn't show you that first. So I, you're right. The D-Bad Mission 4. Right. The D-Bad Mission 4. Oh, it's not. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Shredder's Reviews. <laughs> Today we are going to be reviewing <coughs> the D-Bad Mission 4. Okay, let me see it. Woo, look at that thing. Mm. Nice leather sheath. There you go. My car to handle. Right. What? And the blade steel is 5160. That's right. 12 inch blade. It's, it's, hold that spine up, man. That is a solid quarter inch thick. Look at that. Look at that thing. That is gnarly. <sighs> Love that thing. It's just a freaking beast. Well, let's see here. So it's based off of Rambo 4. The knife that Rambo made in number four. And you haven't got to see any Rambo movies just nope. yet. No, you will, you will, but not just yet. It's coming, it's coming. Um, now, I, I I love Rambo. I'm looking forward to it. It'll be good, it'll be good. Love Rambo, but that's not why I bought this knife. I bought this knife because it's just a freaking gnarly beast. And I don't think you could break it <coughs> if somebody offered you money. There's just no way. I mean, look at this thing. There's like no way that you can break that. Is, I, I agree with you. It is gnarly. So now I want to show something real quick. So it's a, if I hadn't mentioned already, 12 inches, 5160, black micarta, completely full tang, quarter inch thick. Now, I'm not a big fan of guards, right? I'm not a big fan. Yeah. Typically they get in my way. I got to tell you something. I've never, and I mean never, I, and all the knives that I've had, had a knife like this. You put your hand in here, but see, see how this goes down and it curves ever so slightly right here okay you see that yeah when you put your hand in here and you choke up you can't take your finger it locks into place i have never had a grip that locks it feels like my hand's glued onto this grip seriously i can't i can't now that's what now that's how you know it's a good knife. It is awesome. I have never felt a grip like this ever. And not a, the, the handle's comfortable and it's a good grip, but what does it is this this little curve right here locks your hand in a place. And your hand, I can't, literally, I can't get my finger out if I wanted to. It is right here and it is solid. So excited, okay. I even tried. You did, you did. Now, why don't we hold up some comparison knives, huh? Okay. All right, let's do it. Alright, let's see. So first okay, up, you hand them to me. I'll hand them to you. So, the Condor, who has taken taken a beating and kept on ticking, right? Yep. A be beating and kept on ticking. Um, it is um, the Hudson Bay that Mr. Quarboris Cutlery gave us. <laughs> the scab who Quarboris Cutlery, Cutlery gave to you. At first, I'm like, why did he stop? But then I thought for a second, and I'm like, Oh, wait, I'm supposed to say it. <laughs> now, as tough as snot as that condor is, hold up the spine next to that D-Bad Mission 4, man. Hold it up. I mean, it is just, it'll it'll put in perspective how thick the spine is on a D-Bad, because that Hudson Bay is no joke, man. It ain't no joke. So this is the condor. Mm-hmm. Which is an this awesome This is blade. the Hudson Bay. That's the, that's the Hudson Bay. No. That's the Mission 4. Yeah. Right. Look at that. I mean, it's uh, it's almost uh, twice the size, and that Hudson Bay ain't no joke. Now, see next, we have another one. We have another one for Mr. Scab that he gave to me. Remember what this one's called? Dang it! Okay, no, and I'll, I'll give you a hint. The coffin is a, or excuse me, the handle is a coffin handle. Remember what it's called now? The Undertaker. The oh. Undertaker buoy. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. So, <laughs> I said the Undertaker buoy. Yeah. And 
This is the D-Bad in Mission 4. Look at that. Just put it in perspective. Mission 4 is just giant, but it's not too heavy. It's got weight to it, but it's not too heavy. Yeah, okay. For me, it is a little heavy. <laughs> it is a little bit, but it's, it's... There you go. Now, one of the thickest knives... In fact, this actually might be a little bit over a quarter inch thick. It actually might be thicker than the D-Bad. What about the... Um... We'll get there. Well, yeah, that one is thicker. You're right. But that's the Kukri. So this yeah. is the Operator 7 uh, loaned to us by Donnie B all day. And yes, we are starting the reviews on this thing today. I that actually might be thicker than that D-Bad. Hold it up. We're, we'll have to see here. Oh, I might be. I should have brought the thing. This is thicker. I think you're right. Here, let me see. Hold, hold it up and tell them about it while I go grab the thing. Hi. So this is the tops. Isn't this a tops knife? Yep. Hi, right. tops knife, operator seven. Like Dad said, a little over a quarter inch, a quarter inch blade. But man, I think it's thicker. I think you're right. I'm gonna say it's thicker. I think you're right. So let's see. This D bad is. 0.25. I mean, on the dot, it's a quarter inch, man. On the dot. So now let's see here. Let's hold up this Mission 7 or uh, Operator 7. It's a thick. <laughs> it is 0.31. Man, that is a thick blade. 0.31. Ugh, sorry, I didn't know I wasn't in the video. Anyways, my bad. That that It is. It's thicker. It is. It's thicker. I thought so. <laughs> All right. Very cool. Okay, so. That's, that's the Operator 7. Now, uh, Mr. E Eric at Arizona Bladesman gave you this kukri. It is also from the kukri house. The same people that made the Mission 4. doing over there? Having trouble? No, I'm just uh, pulling it. Yeah, I mean, it's just gnarly. The kukris are, I mean, that's gnarly. Yeah, they are. I mean, they're gnarly, but yeah, uh, we'll have to maybe do a side by side with the Mission Four and the kukri at some point. So again, Mr. Arizona Bladesman, thank you very much. That was awesome. Very, very cool. And we did send off the. Um, the peacekeeper to Mr. Donnie B to review. Uh huh. All right. Almost sure done. did. Now we got. Oh, wait, there's still more. We got one more here. We got a tops. This is out of all the ones that I've held so far. This um, your favorite. This is my favorite. Yeah, the Mission Team 21. Love, love, love that knife. I thought you, you don't like the um where it, where it tells you to put your finger. No, and normally I don't. I really don't. But I really like that one. It fits my hand really well. Oh. Yeah. What's wrong? Is it too big? Yeah. You getting tired holding it? Yeah. <laughs> Good job. I'll put that one back. There you go. Okay. So, now we tested the cold steel Bushman buoy. We did. We did. And it actually failed so bad we didn't actually put the video up. Yeah. It was that bad. We love knives, and our idea, our point is not to trash knives. Um, and this one failed so bad, we it would literally it would have just been trashing it. We didn't want to do that. Now we talked to Scab and Donnie B, and they both said that we must have had a one off, and so we got another one, and we're going to test that one. And if that one does the same thing, well, okay. But we're going to try it now. Just to give you an idea, if you can see this, um, we tested this for about thirty minutes, and it chipped a bunch. Yeah. Well, I can't get it to focus, but... Well, if even you... if it doesn't focus, it has a bunch of chips. It does. It is rolled. It is chipped. We used it for about 30 minutes, and the thing is, I mean, it is just dead. It couldn't It couldn't cut nothing. So, the reason I'm saying this, not to bash anybody, is we have a useless knife, and we're going to see if that Mission 4... Go ahead. Let, we're going to, for fun, let, we're going to try to break the... the... 
the Bushman Bowie. No, the, the Cold Steel Bushman Bowie with the D Bad Mission 4. Yeah, we're going to try to break it in half, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we are. Why not? <laughs> All right. You ready? Yeah. Let's do this thing. Yeah, at least we have some kind of quarter inch thing. You're right. Now, yeah. before we, we, there's no doubt this thing can chop, right? Yeah. I mean, this thing's got to be able to chop. And we're going to try it. But let's see. And now we have not touched this. I have not stropped it. I have not sharpened it on purpose because I want to see what it is out the box. Okay. Just for fun. So, here, you want to try to cut your uh, old belt? Sure. All right. See what you can do here. It's been outside for a few years now. so. Yeah, so it's dead. So start at the bottom, kind of work your way up. Gives you a lot of, there you go, blade to cut with. It's, it's harder because yeah, it's a bigger it's a, blade. It is. Okay, so not only is it, it's a little big, it's a little heavy, and the handle's a little big for him. Um, it's It fits my hand good, it does, but it's a little bit big for him, so it might be a little bit hard. I'll do this part. How's that? You oh. do the chopping, okay? Are you okay, Bolty? You you're okay over there? What are you eating that you're not supposed to? Catch a squirrel or something? All right, let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's... Put it at an angle. Oops. Well, what's that about put at an angle? <laughs> let's see. Listen, smart butt. Yeah, it cuts. It can be cut. <laughs> it will cut. It will cut. All right, so the fun part. I'll let you do the chopping. Okay. Let's see. We'll do this in a minute. You want to try chopping this thing? Just go for it. Go for it. Well, you took a chunk out of the table, but you got to hit the rope. <laughs> Bolt, well, come. Please. In case he drops it. There you go. Nice. Our neighbors probably hate us by now. Okay, y'all can't see this. It, it, yeah, it's cutting this. But there's like <laughs> half inch deep things. <laughs> here, here, let me. Let me try. Oh yeah. Woo! Oh yeah. This. Fun. Yeah, man. This thing is taking chunks out of our table. Man. All right, here. It's hurting our table more than the um. Well, the rope's kind of rope. soft. I know. So it's kind of. It's just kind of moving. And this is a little bit tougher rope. Let's try this here. Um. Let's try. Where would? It, where are you gonna hit it the easiest? Up front here. I'm probably gonna try to do it right here. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. You gotta try to hit it so it comes down like on this instead of at an angle, it's gonna hit the wood. You wanna hit it straight down, kind of like that. Three, two, one. There you go. Which... Three. Still hit. No, no, it's just taking chunks out of the table, man. All right, go ahead. Three. There you go. Try it again. Chop that thing. There you go. There, all right, my turn. Let's see. There you. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even swinging this thing. If you can see it, hopefully you can see it. Lucky your coffee is in there. So, yeah, I know, right? I forgot my coffee. So, actually, so let me tell you, when we're hitting, the best spot to chop for this guy is right in here. That's where all the leverage comes down on. So when I do that, it is tearing up our table like nothing else. Oh yeah, every time you do that, it shot. Okay, so that's where the leverage. Our Woo! poor table. The poor table, it is dying today. Oh here, I'll hold it. See if you, do. this is soft and bendy. I don't know if it's gonna chop or not, but let's give it a shot. And I need soft? you to not hold your hand there. So. Because it is, uh, you don't want to make a mistake with this thing. There's no getting your finger back. So. Can't say that again. Yeah, so go ahead and chop just, it is what it is. But see how at this angle you're going to hit the wood? Yeah, so, so try, you hit, try to do it. Really so let it come down and wait. You want to try to angle it, have it hit right in between here. That's where all the leverage is. So oh. boom, you almost want to lean it forward a little bit, okay? So I try to make it go kind of like Kind of like that, yes, sir. Uh, try that. Three, uh, just, yeah, keep your hand in there. You don't want to lose two. a finger. Now that's no joke. No, it ain't no joke. So, yeah. One. Whoa! Woo! Yeah. Chopped that right in half. 
Look at that cut. Yeah, it's clean. <laughs> Try it again. Here, lay that one on the table. Yeah, look at that, man. One solid just wow. All right, try it again. There you go. Three, two, one. Woo! Look at A little that. bit left to spare. That is, yeah, right? That's funny. That is clean cut, man. Wow. That's great. Okay, little dude. So. <laughs> the D-Bad mission for did really good. Did really good. 
Yeah, so it, that Bushman, uh, well, maybe Donnie being scab is right. That Bushman did not break and beat on that thing and beat the spine up a little bit on this. See that? But, well, I beat the crap out of this thing. But that, and that cold steel though, it took a, it took a beating too, but it did not break. I mean, it's got giant chunks and rolls out of it. I mean, giant, 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 you can't see it. It is just some huge chunks, but it did not break. It didn't break. The tip's gone. I think we should get like a hydraulic press or something, push it down on top of the blade, then, then take like a mallet or something and swing at it. Right. So, awesome. I mean, there is not a single chip in this blade, if you can, I wish it would focus. I don't know why I can't get it to focus, but it's got my face just fine. Probably because it's the lightest thing. Yeah, I guess. But there's not a chip, not a roll in this blade. Oh. Now, so you could use this as a camp knife. Yeah. And this choil, there you It will strike a fire starter. Yep. See that? So, this will do a ferrule rod, which is kind of cool. It can hold up to any task, batani, whatever you need to do, right? Mm -hmm. Now, it is a little big for you, and it's a little heavy. Yeah? yeah. You're getting tired out there. It doesn't help that it's it's 10 o'clock, 10, 15, and it's over 100 degrees. Literally. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. But that was a lot of fun, huh? <laughs> that was hot. It was. How many stars? This thing, five out of five. Yeah? Yeah, All five right. out of five. Yeah, I do five out of five, too. For what it is, um, I don't, I didn't get it because there's a Rambo knife. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I bought it because this, uh, I would take this hiking, backpacking, camping all day long. I love this thing. Love that grip. So, out of all the things that I like about the knife, there's a lot of things I like about the knife. This grip, where the, and this thing locks in your finger. Never had a knife do that before. This is not leaving my hand. I love it. I like it a lot. Yeah? Yeah. All right. All right, little dude. Donnie B, nice job. You did a good job, my friend. This thing is just awesome. Love the micarta. Yeah, you did a good job, huh? Heck yeah. You hot? All right, let's get inside, buddy. All right. Sign us out, little dude. Subscribe, hit the bell, and smash that like button. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. You're not that tired. I am tired. <laughs> All right.